Hello, my name is Will Dean. I am a full-time author. I live in a Swedish forest off-grid and it's been a while since I've been here, so it's good to be back. Query letters. I'm going to show you, actually show you, my query letter that got me an agent in the hope that that might be useful. Now, I made a video a few years ago about my query letter, just kind of walking you through it in the hope that it might give some people some comfort or confidence to keep querying when you're getting rejected left, right and centre, as I was, as all authors were at some point until you're discovered in a slush pile. My book, my debut was discovered in a slush pile in 2016. So I've been a full-time author for a while now. But I wanted to create a new video which shows you the actual letter. Hopefully it's on screen now. This is the actual letter. I went through my emails and this is the first email I ever sent my brilliant agent, Kate Burke, who is uh, at Blake Friedman in London. And I want to show you it, like full transparency, show you it, warts and all show you what was okay about it, what was terrible about it, um, in the hope that it gives a little bit of an insight into how these things work. So hopefully through some kind of jiggery pokery magic, you can see the letter on screen right now. Um, I'm gonna use my red pen. So this is the letter for the attention of Kate Burke, who is now my agent. Um, I, the only thing I've deleted down here is my telephone number and my email address. So, dear Kate, I am seeking representation for my first novel, Sweet Rot. Sweet Rot was never the title. Uh, the title is Dark Pines. This is the Goldsboro hardback edition of Dark Pines, published in 2018, my debut novel. Uh, titles change, guys. I think I've got about a 50% hit rate, like... Most of my titles, or at least half of my titles, get changed. You can't really do anything about that. and or They always get changed for the better. Uh, I'm seeking representation for my first novel, Sweet Rot, Dark Binds, a thriller about a deaf journalist's battle to uncover small town secrets and work out who's killing the hunters of Utgard Forest. I'm submitting to you because of your success selling The Dark Inside by Rod Reynolds. So... That introductory little paragraph, I've got the title, the fact that I'm seeking representation, the fact that it's my debut, the fact that it's a thriller, and then you need a hook. Um, I'm terrible at thinking about hooks. I'm terrible about um, working hooks into anything because I'm all about just the story and the characters, but you need to find a hook. I think even if it's a literary novel, a super literary novel, you still need some kind of hook, some kind of thing that entices the agent, that catches their attention. They're reading these submissions on the tube, on the bus, uh, as they're feeding their kid at night. Like they're not reading them in the office or sitting beside a fire in a big armchair. They're super busy people looking after their existing clients. So you need to capture their attention and hold it. The fact that I'm submitting to her because of something, like you need to personalize your query letter. I didn't know much about Kate Burke at this time. I didn't know much about any agent at this time but you need to personalize it mention an auction they were involved in mention a book that you love um, and they will see that you've done some homework you haven't just thrown out a generic cover letter at them now I do a little four line kind of blurb thing here uh, an isolated Swedish town a deaf reporter terrified of nature a dense spruce forest overdue for harvest a pair of eyeless hunters found murdered in the woods I wanted this to be similar to what you have on the back of a novel. I don't know if you can see that, but in the end, it was see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. And it talked about a lot of the things I mentioned in that query letter. It's week one of the Swedish elk hunt and the sound of gunfire is everywhere. I'm trying to kind of very quickly give a sense of the atmosphere of the book. Tuba Moodison, the, town's, the town paper's reporter, is young, deaf and ambitious. When she gets embroiled in the story that could make her career, she stumbles on a web of secrets and allegiances that knit Gaverick Town together. Are the latest murders connected to the 1990s Medusa killings? 
Is someone following her? Why does the killer take the eyes? Tuva must face her demons and venture deep into the woods to stop the killer and write the story and then get the hell out of Gavrik. That's not a perfect <laughs> blurb or a perfect summary by any means. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't obsess about your cover letter. Write the best cover letter you can. Keep it really concise and punchy, but focus, obsess about this, about this book, about your first line, about your first page, about your first chapter, about the story. That's what you obsess over. Don't worry too much about the cover letter. Sweet Rot is 103,000 words. I think it ended up being 95 after edits. Thank God for good editors. Um, and I'm currently working on a sequel. That's Red Snow. The novel, now there's, uh, I'm, I'm currently working on the sixth Tuva Moody Song book. Uh, the fifth comes out October 2022. The novel has a diverse contemporary cast of characters and the style is Stephen King's Needless Things meets Gillian Flynn's Sharp Objects. So here I'm giving the terrible title that will be changed. I'm giving the word count. I'm saying I'm working on a sequel. I'm trying to give the impression that I'm professional, even though at that point, back in 2015, 16, I was fairly lost and confused. I had no contacts in publishing and I was just kind of reading and rereading the artist and writer's yearbook and trying to figure this whole thing out. But I'm trying to give the sense that I've done some research, I've done some work and I'm in this for the long haul. Um, comp titles. The novel has a diverse contemporary cast of characters as style as Stephen King's Needless Things meets Gillian Flynn's Sharp Objects. The whole vibe of these books is quite Stephen King. Um, but I didn't want to give an obvious Stephen King. I wanted to give like a small town Stephen King, something that does relate to this book. And then Gillian Flynn's Sharp Objects, uh, the narrator of Sharp Objects is kind of, there's some similarities with Tuva Moodison, even though Tuva's deaf and Swedish and very different in a lot of ways. The voice is a little bit similar, quite acidic. So I wanted to, to highlight that. And I didn't want to bring in Gone Girl. Like don't bring in the most obvious titles for your comp titles. Comp titles, I think, are useful. They're a shortcut to the agent understanding where your book might fit in the market and on the bookshelf. But don't come up with the Hunger Games meets the Da Vinci Code. Like, you need to do a little bit more work than that and show that you read <laughs> widely. And using interesting comp titles, I think, is a good way to show that you read widely. I'm 36 years old. I'm now 43 years old. Very old. A dedicated full-time writer. While living in London, I travelled to Sweden twice a week to build the woodland home where I now live. That extreme commute offered me a unique insight into the distinctive nature, distinctive character of the Nordic people. This is just like a, your bio, right? And some people, I think, write half a page bio and it's not necessary at this point. Like I think a couple of lines showing a little bit of who you are is good. Um, and trying to link that to the book in some way, your story to the book, I think is really helpful. But like two, three lines is all you need. Show that you went to this festival or you've been shortlisted for the short story prize or something personal about you, but keep it really brief. The full manuscript is available upon your request. Thank you for your consideration. I just wanted to show here that the book is done. I'm not submitting uh, sample chapters and I've only written another four chapters after that. Like the book is done. I'm working on the sequel. I'm trying to show again that like I'm taking this seriously. And that's it. So it's it's not a lot of words. It's one side and there's a lot of white space on this particular query letter. But like it's it's your introduction just showing the agent what this is in a in a in a glimpse, you know. Uh it's a little blurb. For me, I wanted it to be a little bit commercial that blurb. I wanted it to sell the book and show what the book is all about. This is a little bit more in depth into the story and the characters and the kind of atmosphere on what this book um, is. And then here is the specifics of word count and comp titles. And here is this tiny little bio. 
because I didn't have a lot to say about myself at that point. And that's it. And it's not a brilliant cover letter. This is a very average cover letter, but it doesn't have any major flaws. It's average. That's all it needs to be. What I needed was for Kate to start with this, then read the synopsis. I will go through this another time in, in detail for you. Probably a pretty bad synopsis because I hate writing synopsises. And then get on to this, which is the first page of my sample chapters, which is very like, okay, let's just show you this. An elk emerges from the overgrown pines and it is monstrous, my first line. This is the hardback novel. An elk emerges from the overgrown pines and it is monstrous. So I still think that that's kind of magic that you're able to write something and send it off and get an agent and get a book deal and become an author and see that work in a book. And if this, if showing this, sharing this very average cover letter can help anyone, um, then I'm, I'm pleased. And if you want, if you have any questions, like put them in a comment, any question at all. It doesn't have to be about query letters or agents or slush piles, it can be about anything. Put it in the comments. I will either reply in the comments or I'll make a new video answering your question specifically. And I'll be back again soon with a new video. Can you see my breath? It's cold in here. Okay, thanks, bye.